That looks like rain. Oh, just when I thought it was getting easier, I'm actually in the hardest part. Questing for French Lake. Oh my God, it's never oh ending. God. This is hilarious. The volume will increase. Oh, uh, here we have something quite interesting. It's French Lake. Ah, uh, what a mission. Right behind that island there is the mouth of North French River. left French Lake and this is the North French River. Pretty hard slog to get here. Approaching the first rapid of the trip. Looks pretty basic, probably a class one. Let's just strap on the life jacket and uh, give her. First rapid of the trip. Straightforward. Did not uh, see these rocks at all. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a pretty big rock. Ah, and another one here. Field. Those rocks, this rapid looks pretty rocky too. Come on. Well, pretty low water. That's okay. Further down river you get more volume. See if we can't catch our uh, first fish of the trip too while we're out of here. Too shallow.
Come on, fish. Where are the fish? Should be fish here. It's concerning. Oh, maybe I should be going. Oh, oh, snag. Damn it. Got it. <laughs> so there is a victory to be had after all. One more cast. Nothing. Took a few casts here, what looks like a good spot and no luck. So that's kind of concerning. This looks like a great spot. It could be, um, it could be this really, really hot weather. Um, has just got them not feeding. Also, I'm not 100% sure whether I should be going for brook trout or walleye. Um, up this high, I heard that there's specks, which is the same thing as brook trout, um, and that walleye are further down. But, you know, I, I hear different things uh, about rivers, and they're not always true when it comes to, like, wilderness rivers. Um, when it comes to fishing. So I guess I'll try, um, you know, fishing kind of for both species at each hole. Uh, you know, depends on the time of year, but oftentimes the brook trout will be up feeding off black fly larvae in on the rocks because there are still black flies. Uh, and uh, oftentimes the uh, walleye will be a little deeper. So we'll give that a shot. But uh, yeah, a little concerning that I have to document a fishing fail here. Oh, well. Um, I have a couple more rapids I'm going to hit up here. One, two, three, four more rapids. And once I'm past that, I'm going to make camp. So long, sucker. Looks interesting. So I'll see if I can pull off an interesting maneuver here. Guess not. damn water in these rapids man okay I'm gonna try to jump over to the far right <sighs> looks like I'll be able to do it yeah Oh, this one's gonna be a bump and grind. This low water up river here is scaring me. This river's gonna get more volume and it's gonna be a lot of exposed rocks and those can just crush your canoe around a boulder and pin it there. Oh, sh There's a tree over the freaking river up here.
Must have been a big storm. Looks like a campsite. jump shot there so this is moose lake and Holy shit. Greeted at Moose Lake by two moose, cow and calf. Can you freaking believe that? I'm like, here we are at Moose Lake and the sound of my voice spooked them. And they both just jumped into the water and basically ran and swam right across the bay. So if I had shut my big mouth, I would have rounded the corner and just, they would have surprised me. We would have been standing right freaking there. Crazy. Guess we know why they call it Moose Lake. Needless to say, that was super freaking awesome. Like amazing experience. So again, looks like I'm gonna be hacking a spot out of the bush. Uh, probably looks like there's some dry land just behind me there, right at the mouth. And uh, it's about seven o'clock on the dot, so would have been good if I was here a little earlier, but that's pretty freaking good. So I'm super happy with what I managed to do today. Ran all the rapids. Thankfully, the, the alders cleared up and just bushwhacked like a fiend and freaking made it. This is exactly where I was supposed to get to today, and it was looking like I wouldn't. So super excited about that, and the river's only going to get better. Uh, it goes on for a while, like a small little stream. I mean, this trip is, I think, 316 kilometers long in total. And then eventually it gets uh, quite wide. So uh, probably tomorrow is going to be about trying to make distance, make time. Some, I think I have some rapids, but you don't get into the whitewater section until the river starts dropping off the shield. And that's where it gets uh, real interesting. So 
Um, anyways, I don't know what the hell is going on with the fish, but it looks like there might be pike in this lake. Looks pikey. Uh, potentially nothing because it looks more or less like a swamp and incredibly shallow. But I'm going to give her a go. Got one. Oh, it's a little wally. A little wally, baby. Uh, yeah! Beauty. F***ing walleye. Thinking there was pike and nail a walleye. Hailed that. Maps four, fire tiger. I've done well with that exact lure up here before. Here we go. Decent keeper for sure. Second cast. Making my distance, seeing a moose, catching a pickerel. For all you people that are puzzled, a lot of people in Canada call walleye pickerel. We know that there's another species of fish called grass pickerel and chain pickerel. You know, it might not be 100% correct, but it is considered correct here. And they sell it as pickerel in the grocery stores, you know. So it's a colloquialism, okay? So when I say pickerel, I'm talking about walleye. Sometimes I just say walleye because everyone knows what that is. And it, oh, yeah, oh, it's going to be hammer time here. And these things will hit anything, I feel like. It's another walleye. Oh, it's going to be a beast. Yeah, I was thinking pike. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah! Perfect eaters for old Jim. Little filet there. Right when I was starting to worry that the fishing wasn't going to be good. Hammer time. See, it's freaking walleye up here, man, not specks. People and their stories. There's two. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat those. All right, right in the mouth of the river, so I'm gunning for it. All right, what do you think? Fish or what? Let's hope it's an absolute pig. Oh, yep, every cast, all got off. Kill tactic here. Snap the neck. Um, my stringer, I only have a, a, basically just one line out there. And uh, well, there's, a, there's a fish on either end. So I don't grab the mouth with the walleye, but I kind of grab it with the pliers and quick snap. And it dies instantly. And then it doesn't, uh, 
it doesn't bleed everywhere and it also doesn't uh, flip all over the place. If you stab it, it will bleed all over your boat. So the less blood on your boat, the less bears are interested in it, I find. Oh, whoa, that was a big hit. Oh, that was by far the biggest one yet. Yeah, 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 that feels like a pretty good one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's the biggest, but it sure as hell fought like it was the biggest. Look at that, another good eater. I got that one in the gills, so I'm gonna keep it too. So gratifying that I'm nailing freaking walleye. Yes. Oh man, I bet you there's some big ones in this lake. Just crushing the yeah. Maps four. One more, one more, and I'll have my limit of small ones, and trust me, I will eat all of them. Oh, that's not a fish, that's a snag. All right, I'm gonna move up that way and uh, gotta go get my snag out, take a few more casts. Got another one. Feels pretty good. About the same. Net, yeah. Oh, that's the biggest one. Kind of a fatty. Good fight. Nothing huge, but look at the blue color in that, eh? Nice one. Look at that. I'll take it. Well, that is my limit. Um, if I can't eat it all tonight, I'll eat some for breakfast. And it's about time to make camp, so one last cast for good luck. That is a good good day for old Jim just catching him on this freaking beauty number four fire tiger it's actually usually a go-to for me for pike and I, I thought there may be pike in here and, and walleye I thought maybe it looked more pikey I don't know who knows and I threw that on and bam as soon as I started catching the walleye I didn't change it obviously caught my limit and I am heading to find a place to make camp and eat all these fish, yeah! Freaking awesome day. Seeing the moose and then bam, hammering all those fish. Good times, more to come. I stood up to have a peek to see if there's any flat land over there. And I started thinking, oh, something reminds me of the, that old cache I found in the Yukon. Sure enough, I see this. Right across from the point where I saw the moose. So it seems like this person knows how to pick a good spot and they have view all down that bay. 
That blind obviously hasn't been in use for quite some time. It's just made with sticks, it's all rotted out, but there is a, a fish cabin on here, I have it marked. So just a random cabin on this lake. It's probably just privately owned by somebody who comes in with a float plane and maybe at one time they did some moose hunting or somebody did. Could be uh, the Moose Cree used this river uh, at one time much more than they do now. And now they use it much, much further down near to the Moose River. But uh, yeah, interesting signs of humans. Um, Man, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to just hammer all that fish, all of it. Oh, I got this freaking uh, garlic and butter fish crisp. Oh my God, it's so good. But first I gotta find a place to camp. So this looks like It looks boggy and terrible. Uh, I'm gonna move on. Double rainbow. Wow, things are looking up. Look at that. Can't have rainbow without a little rain, I guess. Two moose were just basically right here. I can see the branches that they trampled down. This was the third place I checked. Absolutely no shortage of firewood. Must have been a wicked storm coming through here. But it's elevated, so it's a bit of a trek up a hill. But there's a nice, um, flat spot for a tent as opposed to just incredibly lumpy and horrific so that's what I look for rain three times today never really rain sleeping bag ground pad Clothes back in there still. I hate setting up the tent. I really do. So I've been just trying to find the Gladdest spot and it's been working. Uh, at dusk, the bugs get real bad. And uh, they congregate in between my fly and my tent and it's like deafening. The hum is so loud. I just like wipe the inside mesh, kill hundreds at a time. Oh man, I'm starving. Now, I'm gonna get a fire going. Where the hell is the fire gonna go? <laughs> Not a ton of room on this side. Thank you. 
All right. That's where I'm gonna have my fire right here. Remember in the Yukon, the sites were just littered. Now for the fish. Look at that baby. Think I can eat all of this? I think I can. Been uh, fixing to rain all day, and uh, right as I was about to start cleaning the fish, just as it got dark, it started freaking dumping rain like crazy. In a panic, I just managed to quickly set up this tarp, but I got totally soaked while doing it. So my shirt, that my back feels like you might as well have just dunked it in underwater. Uh, I'm gonna have to make the mad dash out there to grab my fish before it gets soggy but uh, luckily I pulled my bag that has my rain jacket in it but this is just crazy oh well, luckily it's still pretty warm out so I'm not going to have to panic, but uh, where the hell, I guess I shouldn't say where did that come from because I felt it brewing all day and then the skies just opened and this camera started getting soaked so I tucked it away quick and uh, just as fast as I could I got this tarp set up, but uh, interesting chain of events, pretty exciting actually. off the fish a little I see. Mmm. Never a dull moment I guess. <laughs> oh well, now the rain's gonna stop eh?
bunch of fillets. It's gonna be a late one. Let me go wash those off. Apparently moths love neoprene socks. Learn something new every day. Just hanging out on there like a million of them. down too. Oh yeah. This one's perfect. Look at that baby. Alright, first try. Well it's not really my first try. I tried a bit already so first try on camera. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at this piece here. Perfect. Not beer battered, but pan fried walleye right over the fire mm. <coughs> I just add um, a little bit of this stuff here called fish crisp I just add a little that stuff's in high demand but I add it to um, my ziploc bag I toss a couple of fillets in there. Maybe add a little air, zip it up, and then shake it. Get it nice and coated. Go ahead and lay that right in the hot oil. Perfect little cooking fire here too. I uh I started the fire right away and I kept feeding it slowly. So when it came time 
there'd be a nice pull back that I could just lay smaller dry pieces of wood on top side by side to make a nice platform. Oh yeah, that's done. Amazing reward for the end of a long, hard day. Two good fish fries and easy portages and fun to come. Ah, purple Kool Aid. I guess that's about it for me tonight. I'm gonna finish up this fish. I got it all cooked up. I got uh, four more pieces to eat. But let me tell you, I'm not eating anything else and I was starving. So none of this fish is gonna to go to the waste here. I'll tell you that right now. Awesome day today. Um, started out with uh, like an intense, just hell alder bushwhack and right when I thought there was no way I was gonna make it to where I needed to today the river widened it got more volume a big tributary pulled in and the last part was way easier than I expected thank goodness and uh, of course when I got here I kicked up a duck and then I started doing an interview and scared the crap out of a cow and calf moose I paddled around the corner and I saw them just uh, basically running across the lake and swimming across the lake. It was the coolest thing. And uh, immediately after, it started slamming walleye under a double rainbow. <laughs> and found a pretty decent campsite too. So I'd say uh, best day of the trip so far for sure. Yeah.